One of the strangest things for a lot of people is the connection between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Obviously Tears of the Kingdom is the direct sequel to Breath of the Wild, but it doesn't seem to be referenced all that much, and one of the biggest mysteries that people are wondering online is where are the Divine Beasts? Where did they go? And it also goes further than just the Divine Beasts. The Shrines, the Sheikah Towers, shoot, even the Guardians all seem to completely disappear from this world. What is the cause? What is the reason? Is there an explanation behind this? Well, that's what I hope to try to explain to you guys today and figure out just what happened. Real quick before we dive in, most of you guys watching this video are not subscribed, so stop what you're doing, do a big favor here for Nintendo Land and leave a like and subscribe, it goes a long way. Let's move that bar up to at least 15%. Thanks guys and on to the video. We've seen the world of Tears of the Kingdom. There are no relics of anything from Breath of the Wild, including Sheikah Towers, Shrines, Guardians, or even Divine Beasts. Shoot, the Sheikah Slate is not even in this game anymore. It's now the Pura Pad. It seems like any relic from the past, Sheikah related or not, has been completely replaced in this game by new technology from Pura and Robbie, which is very interesting. Now let's talk about one theory that a lot of people seem to be having, and it's the whole timeline thing. When Zelda went back in time, she could have changed everything in the future timeline, which means that everything in Breath of the Wild could have been a myth a story, something that just never happened now, it was completely washed from the timeline, and that's why we never see anything that's ever really happened or occurred in that game. But let me tell you why that's just not the case, there's lots of reasons why that just wouldn't work. One of the things that you could say is that lots of the NPCs and characters reference the events of Breath of the Wild in the game in some of their dialogue. Now, that's not to say that lots of the people in Tears of the Kingdom remember what happened in Breath of the Wild, but it still changed because of what Zelda did. Now, that definitely could be the case as well. Remember, Zelda also had the Pura Pad before going back in time, which is another thing because why wouldn't she still just have a Sheikah Slate? Why did the Sheikah Slate just go away? But it shows that they obviously made a change for a reason. This wasn't some events of the past that got rid of all that Sheikah technology, such as the Guardians and even the Divine Beast. There's still evidence, just go to the Hatino Tech Lab where you can still see things from the Guardian Ancient Past that Robbie has been experimenting on. All the stuff from Breath of the Wild is still up there including the blueprints and plans for some of the Guardians, and you can even see pieces of the smaller Guardians and even one giant one still on top of the Tech Lab itself. So yes, those events most likely still happened, and yeah, the past didn't change anything with what's happening in Tears of the Kingdom. Now the simple solution, and the one that's probably the most obvious, is the fact that maybe they just didn't want these machines around anymore. After Ganon had taken over all the machines, the Divine Beasts, and the Guardians, it just seemed like it was a stupid reason to keep them around. It's the reason they lost the war in the first place, is because their own technology fought against them. So they just completely got rid of them. Maybe they got rid of all the Guardians, broke them down into scrap. Maybe they got rid of all the Divine Beasts as well, as they also posed a gigantic threat to the kingdom. As they were a great ally, they were also the doom and gloom as to what happened to them in the first place. So they didn't want any future events of these machines going rogue again, so they just replaced them and wiped them all out. Don't forget, Nintendo and the Zelda team could also be saving future content uh, for future DLC waves or something like that. For instance, there could be a way where we find some of the relics of the Divine Beasts and the Guardians coming out of the ground or down into the depths and we get to go like uncover them and find out what's going on or maybe we get to even enter them again and play many versions of the dungeons that were from Breath of the Wild but they're changed up now and they're a lot different as they're fused with the underground world of the depths. That would be really cool as well where you have to go into them and activate them and maybe even defeat Blight Ganons again that's inside of them and maybe kind of plaguing some of the depths and they're the last remaining source of Ganondorf that we have to defeat. And we can also bring up the shrines being missing as well which is a strange one as there were over a hundred different tiny rooms for Link to train in. Well, where did they all go? Well, we know that the Malice Holes are where some of those shrines were in Tears of the Kingdom. So, maybe these collapsed and fell down into the ground underneath into the depths, causing these Malice Holes to also fill and spread open, adding an access point down into the depths. Now, of course, what about the actual shrine rooms themselves? Well, they could be in a sort of middle ground 
where they were just not too far down to be in the depths, but right in the middle between the surface and the depths, where they're just still there, but just not accessible. There's no way to get to them anymore. Or maybe they all just collapsed together all the way down into the holes and it's just part of the depths now in rubble. There's also a chance that the Hylians just got rid of the shrines as well. It was just like the Guardians and the Divine Beasts where they said, we don't want any of these relics ever again. Now, the shrines never posed a threat to them. Like, they never got up and started walking around and killing everybody. And the shrines were really just tests for the hero in order to level himself up and become as powerful as possible. And Link did all these tests already. Maybe they just felt like they didn't need them anymore. I don't know. It's a strange thing to just get rid of that plagued pretty much every region in Hyrule, so I guess either they just got rid of these shrines or they all collapsed during the Great Upheaval. I do want to talk about the DLC opportunities that they could have more in a future video, but the Divine Beast returning, as it sounds really cool, I think I would rather see new Guardian forms return in the DLC as a new overworld mini-boss that we can take on. Maybe some of them reactivated from the Yiga Clan, or leftover evil strands from Ganondorf. Maybe some of his gloom reached into areas and found some corrupted guardians, or corrupted some guardians that fell down into the depths. I find it really hard to believe that everybody was able to clean up every single last one of the guardians and none of them were left. I mean, after all, there is one on top of the Hatino Tech Lab, so maybe some type of gloom could reach it and then it starts going crazy and making its way underground. Imagine if we had a mission where we had to track down like five or six super powerful guardians with new abilities, kind of like the Emmy from Metroid Dread, where some of the light routes would actually turn off where it was nearby and that's how we track it down, and it's just completely pitch black in those areas, and we have to hide and find opportunities to attack these guardian creatures that are now roaming the depths. It would kind of give the game a creepy horror aspect as these giant mechanical monsters are crawling all over the depths. That would be pretty cool. But whatever the reason is, it does seem like Hyrule just moved on and completely forgot about the Sheikah tech and decided to just move on completely. And I get it, it was the reason for Hyrule's demise during that battle, and it just corrupted everything that they worked so hard to use against Ganon. Ganon ended up using it against the Kingdom of Hyrule. So yes, it makes sense, just completely get rid of that technology. Technology is bad, that's kind of the moral of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, and Age of Calamity too, I guess. But of course, I want to start talking about DLC. We're almost a month into this game. It's about time we start talking about if Nintendo will have any plans for DLC. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys would want to see from a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom DLC pack. Would you want to see brand new dungeons, more shrines, more pieces for your Zonai devices and constructions you guys have been making? Let me know in the comments down below and just get crazy. Come up with unique story points and just crazy things and I could cover your idea in a future video. I don't want to just talk about a whole bunch of things. I want to focus on individual thoughts and individual ideas for DLC where we can make a whole video about that concept. So go wild in the comments down below. Give me some of your best ideas and thank you so much for tuning in. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.